in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use modifiers. Before we get started, many of you may wonder when to use a modifier versus a variation for an item. We recommend using variations for fixed item setups such as sizes or flavors. Take this coffee item for example, we break this out into different cup sizes variations. Variations can track inventory and show up as items in reports. On the other hand, modifiers are best used for customizations that usually require a combination of adjustments such as these customizations for the coffee drink we just saw. Modifiers don't track inventory today and shows up in a separate modifier sales report. They also offer more logic in the choices a customer can choose, which we'll dive into later in this video. So let's get started. In order to create a new modifier set, you can go to your dashboard, items, and then navigate to your modifier library page. Here you can click create a modifier to create a new set or edit an existing one. We're going to look at that syrup set that you may have noticed in the items page earlier. Within the modifier set page, you can add a name for the set, add your modifiers, and other set level logic. Within your modifier choices, you can add an upcharge for certain modifiers, hide them from showing online, or pre-select them as defaults for your staff and diner during checkout. For hiding online, if you want to hide the whole modifier set from showing, you can just select every choice here, and when you save, it should automatically hide the set from your online site as well. You can make the set required for the customer to pick a modifier choice within your selection rules and define minimum or maximum limits of modifiers that can be selected. You can also choose to turn on conversational modifiers, but note that if you do, you will not be able to set minimum or maximum limits since the logic oftentimes conflicts with each other. Here you can see vice versa is the case too. Lastly, you can choose to hide the modifier set from customer receipts. So once your modifier set is created, we're going to save and we can apply the set to the specific items. You can apply directly from this page or you can go to the items page and edit and add new modifier sets here um, for your convenience to add multiple sets at once. On this page, there are a few things you can do. First, for each set that is added, you can still go and customize that set to add item level overrides for anything you need this modifier set to look different for the item from when you created the set earlier. If that those changes also apply to other items, you can apply these customizations to the other items and choose what items should apply. We do recommend just changing the modifier set if the changes should just apply all to, to all items using the modifiers because it will keep your modifier setup cleaner and easier to manage. Lastly, within the page you saw earlier, you can reorder different modifier sets. Reordering the sets here will ensure that the order of modifier sets on your online site follows exactly how you want diners to go through the checkout process. That's it for modifier setup today. You can learn more in our support center or check out other videos on item creation and setup.